Welcome to Zimbabwe. My name is Sean Wolpov and I work for VA Corps in Cape Town and I am helping set up a program in Zimbabwe to bring more students to Africa to have the incredible experiences I had growing up. My name is Wesley Maraire. I run an organization called Tiritosi. It facilitates ethical volunteering and professionally rewarding internships in Zimbabwe. We partnered with VA Corps from Cape Town in order to provide 24-7 on-the-ground support to interns that are placed at our wide network of placement sites. We've been working closely with Wesley over the past three years to develop this program. In that time, we've realized that Tiritosi is well-resourced very experienced and do an amazing job with their students and volunteers from around the world. It is just so comfortable. We have such great guides and we have uh, people that have organized very well. Uh, everything just has gone as planned. Um, I think the opportunities are vast for students of a variety of interests. There's so much to see and do. There's wildlife, there you see um, people striving to um, start businesses, you see people working with sustainable living, sustainable farming. We have it all in Zimbabwe. You have the people themselves, you have the culture, you have the rich history. You instantly feel welcome from the time you get off at the airport to meeting people because we have the, some of the friendliest people you'll ever meet. Zimbabwe at the moment is in a, a really exciting phase. There's a new buzz in the country. You speak to the people on the ground and the locals and they'll tell you, we, we're happy, we're excited. Zimbabwe is an amazing destination for people who want a hands-on program, who want to be part of a community. It is a safe country, it's a beautiful country. You are not going to find kinder, more generous or more helpful people. The opportunities in Zimbabwe that we've focused on initially are the amazing medical opportunities as well as the conservation opportunities. We really make sure that you get a feel of what Zimbabwe's healthcare is like. Um, we've been visiting some healthcare clinics, rural health clinic and hospital, and I've been looking for opportunities for students who are in medical and therapy fields of study to come and get some hands-on experience. The staff at Chidamoyo Christian Hospital are the friendliest people you'll ever meet. I'm Kathy McCarty and I'm the sister in charge at Chidamoyo Christian Hospital. Chidamoyo is a hundred bed hospital that's located in northwest rural Zimbabwe. We are a hospital that provides full medical service. So we do everything from antenatal care to inpatient care to HIV care. We do everything that we can do here. We get to learn new perspectives in, in medicine, how to solve problems with very, sometimes very limited resources. I think it's important for a visiting student or intern to understand that not everywhere is as well equipped as the rest of the world and yet even in those circumstances you can still deliver a quality service. Because patients take a long time to come because maybe they don't have the money or they live far away, we see conditions that are very further along than you would see at home. One group follows the doctor and goes on rounds in the morning and then um, also does outpatient work. Then the other half of the group will go to uh, the antenatal care clinic. So far we've seen a birth every single day actually. Um, we, I got to sit in on a c-section which was actually the coolest thing because I'd never been in a surgery before. I've been here less than three weeks and I've learned more than I've learned like I learned in a full quarter. It's been like just right in the sweet spot of like slightly out of my comfort zone but where everyone is so welcoming and so catering to like the things that we need that I've just felt so comfortable here. The work that we do is affecting our patients and the patients appreciate the care that we give them. And so it's very rewarding to see people who get better. The conservation programs. There are very many options for students to have rewarding internships that have impact on the wildlife itself. 
I think bringing students here will give them opportunities that they will never experience in the United States, uh, basically because there's so many animals here that, that we don't experience other than in a zoo. And Mary, the uh, Rhino Conservatory was just just amazing. The, the opportunities you get here, it's up close and personal and everybody you work with is closely knit. We've all got the same beliefs and that belief is protecting wildlife. And the moment you arrive there, you become part of the team and part of the crew. An overall picture of it, it's, it's hands-on, it's pretty physical, there's a lot of reward at the end of the day uh, and you get the most incredible experience with working with these animals at a, at a close quarter. I think that will just be an amazing experience for anybody that uh, not only visits but can actually assist with them. And then Twala, Twala is just it's kind of a more laid back but it's, it's very good and they'll have lots of experience with a variety of animals, everything from dogs to birds to elephants to rhinos. Twala Animal Sanctuary is a rehabilitation center where injured and abused animals come for refuge. There's a huge need for conservation education. Um, animal welfare education but also somewhere that is within the community where people can bring the animals to be looked after and where we can rehabilitate and release wildlife wherever possible. We welcome vet students, vets, people who want to work in conservation, people who want to work in animal welfare and we offer them the opportunity to really get involved in our program. Because we are embedded in the community, you really get an amazing sense of what it's like to live in this country. Interns and volunteers go away with a really good sense of the challenges that we face, but also what we achieve against some pretty amazing odds. Animal welfare is what I do, and I love it. Hands on, you're part of the team. I'm the volunteer mentor, and I love to have extra hands. So there's nothing that you don't do. You do pretty much everything. You're part of the team. And we rely on these extra hands as they, as they come. So you feel like you're part of a family when you're here. The sense of community is, is rich and you'll make friends for life. Here in Zimbabwe, there are really kind people, very welcoming, very interested in who their visitors are to Zimbabwe. I feel that it's really safe to walk around. We seem to be very welcomed everywhere we go. Like Zimbabwe is one of the friendliest countries in Southern Africa, like beyond a doubt. Be adventurous. If you've got to do this experience for your, for your studies, go somewhere where you are really going to make a difference, where you can come into a program and you know when you leave that you've changed the lives of a lot of animals, you've impacted on the lives of a lot of people and you have actually participated in something that is genuine. So, yeah, definitely Zimbabwe is the place to come.